story, yeah, yeah I remember that's now. That's a good part okay. to say, Let, you know? The moment I saw that little white English boy, I know, he was a star, <laughs> for real. I'm a white man, that's what I'm subversive with. I'm a white man, I'm most, most of the places, and I'm a white boy DJ with. And him, give me one tune. And you ought to owe him give me the first tune, it's like me, I said, no, sir. I'm the baddest white boy that's been here in a long time, no, sir. And I said, no, give me one more tune. And then what's up, boom, and jump in, and next tune again, and I said, damn, no. You know, so I look white boy in a normal. So it's like, I see it in him right away, you know, and I said, no, sir, him. I want to start him. Right, this up. When I met him, it's like, he might tell me in personal life, like, he might tell me, say, yo, boy, Jigga, you know, the GM does come from, and, you know, all of that stuff, and that man said, damn. You know, so I'm really looking straight, you. So I start feeling really this. You know, I say, so I say, all right, you up. And they don't know me as a youth, eh? Like I say, from me see the star, I will give my hand. So I just know me just say, all right. Me I give my hand, you know what I say? Give my help, because at that time, too, like, I think, like, like, emotionally, you know what I say, he probably didn't need a friend them time, eh? you know what I say? Like, because he's just coming off a whole bunch of problems and coming out of jail and, you know, and you never really know a lot of people in Jamaica. And, you know what I'm saying, and I, I saw all of that, like, in a minute, and I said, you know what, this dude probably need a friend, you know what I'm saying. The whole, all them period of times, you know, me and him from bridging and thing, and, and we done start showing the rope still, came in the studio, the man, and start recording and thing, and the key thing was, each time I put him up on the stage to represent, he represent. And I have a lot of shows, so. At that time, he was going to a wall if I can, we'd have got one. And then I bust the place. So every time we go around, we just give him the mic. And just bust the place. Every community. So in like, a, like in a short, like in a quick month and a half, like in a quick six, eight weeks, like him at the whole Kingston. Like, well, yo, the white boy, we're part of Nexus. You don't see the little white boy, we're part of Nexus. You know what I say? In a quick time. In a short time, we did like all the show, all the places. And I, I think we ended up in a this thing. In a um, um, champions in action. Amen. 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 Tagawa, give them that tune there. Yeah, he done now. Tivali Garden, I'm in name Tagawa. I'm in a barn, yeah, but me on ya. Look! I'm in a barn, yeah, but me on ya. Request to the farmer. Ooh, they must land the Jojo, yeah, man, the banana. Don't let you know what they give me a great marijuana. Me love you, me go, me not let on ya. Everybody. Look! Like, like, I got this thing early. Just to see that's the part of the show they can't. Tagawa, not, not even because he was my friend, but like I said, lyrically, he was spitting. You know what I mean? He was spitting on the real Jamaican thing too, like, and he might chop the potato and he might chop the thing them where I happen in Jamaica too, and they get the thing them where they get them one here too. You see me? I say, so like, from, from that come up, we just say, all right, no, it's no question. Talk about all the way, man, and him do it. You know, man, him come to man, come a sting, rip it, murder. So, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Tug and War! Tug! At war. farmer. I'm a stand up in the crowd like. Yeah, man. <laughs> Them things gonna happen every day, man. Nah, no, like. It's more like it's more like a destiny, you know what I say? It's more like a party, you know what I say? Because them things not really happen so, every day, like... You know? One in a million, man. Or, no, never say for real, one in a twenty. Or one in a thirty. Not really happen every day, man. Because, like, our business is hard, you know? Our business is a very hard business, man. To impress people in our business and to get to the level where you can get in just a short time. You know? Man, I'm not even a bit, it's a red, 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 it's a
important thing, the most important thing is in come to Jamaica and I'm lay that foundation. Because everybody in Jamaica knows about one. So it's like everybody right now, they're just listening out for that one hit that bam. It's over. I was heartbroken to fly out, fly from Jamaica. Anyway, I didn't want to. Yeah, like, like, yeah. it's like when he flew out, when he flew out to Jamaica, it's like, like the whole Jamaica was like, hey Lexus, where's Tug of War? Tug of War, Tuggy, Tuggy. I'm like, yo, he went back to England and everybody like, for real? Oh, damn. Damn. You know, he like, it was like, like if, like if he had stayed there, like, like if he had stayed there for like one more month, just one more month. Before I left Jamaica, I was offered a recording contract with Steely and Cleavy, which is the biggest producers in Jamaica. And I never got to sign that and record any stuff with Steely and Cleavy because my father was in prison and I had to fly back out to England.